Different forms of Lyme require different treatments. Lyme disease is a complicated illness which is hard to diagnose, treat, and cure. One of the reasons it's so hard to treat is that it can change its form to hide from the immune system and won't appear in blood tests. Lyme can have different effects on the body depending on its form. So if you want to know about the different forms of Lyme, keep watching. First up, what is Lyme disease? Lyme disease is a vector-borne illness caused by the bacteria Borrelia burgdorferi found in ticks. Borrelia burgdorferi is a pleomorphic bacteria, meaning it can change its shape and size according to its environment. The result is that the body won't recognize it as a threat in certain forms. What are the different forms of Lyme? The bacteria, Borrelia burgdorferi, are spirochetes, which means they are spiral-shaped by nature. Spirochete bacteria are highly invasive because they contract and extend like a muscle to move around in the body. Their shape allows them to propel through blood and tissue, and they can penetrate deep into the body. They invade cells and take on their characteristics, thus cloaking them from the immune system. When pleomorphic bacteria encounter environmental stress, such as antibiotics, they change form to adapt. The bacteria form atypical cysts, or granular forms, and can colonize in large masses to effectively hide from the immune system. Borrelia burgdorferi reacts differently to different forms of stress. Some stressors cause it to form cysts, and others cause it to form colonies. There are different forms of Lyme, and they include 1. Spiral, the normal form, 2. Granular, 3. Cyst, also known as round bodies, 4. Colony, which creates biofilms, 5. Rolled, 6. Agglomeration of ring-shaped. How do the different forms of Lyme affect treatment and recovery? The ability to change its form makes Lyme the master of disguise. This is why it evades the immune response and doesn't show up on tests. Different antibiotics are better at treating certain forms of Lyme. Some antibiotics, such as doxycycline, are only effective when the bacteria are spirals and won't work on a colony. For example, when Lyme cells colonize, they cover themselves in protective biofilms, making it hard for antibiotics and the immune system to reach them. Some forms of Lyme don't have a regular cell membrane, which contains the information that helps the immune system and antibiotics to identify and target it. Pleomorphic forms of Lyme are antibiotic resistant because they go dormant when threatened. In the dormant stage, the bacteria are inactive and antibiotics won't target them. These cells become persister cells and cause symptoms to reoccur because when the environmental stressor is removed, they change back into spirals and resume their usual activity. In conclusion, when you understand the different forms of Lyme, it's clear to see why it's such a complicated illness to treat and diagnose. Lyme is the master of disguise and will quickly change its form when it's threatened to avoid being detected and destroyed by the immune system and antibiotics. This is also why many patients suffer from chronic Lyme disease. Luckily, as they learn more about the different Lyme forms, the medical and scientific community are one step closer to understanding the disease and finding a cure. If you found this information to be helpful, we would greatly appreciate it if you could give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, for access to more valuable information like this, be sure to check out our other videos. Thank you.